All right, guys, this is going to be a quick and dirty video on setting up Artnet to Twinkly. Uh, I'm going to assume that you just installed the program. And I'll show you what it looks like when it first comes up. First thing that happens is you get a login. Uh, you Whether or not you log in or not, it's up to you, but you're going to get more features if it is. And just for simplicity's sake, we're going to go ahead and log in. Uh, it won't log in while that dialog is on the screen. Um, currently, the version I'm on is beta, so it will tell you, make sure the watch for updates. Okay, so first thing happens, everything loads quick. No big deal. Here's your layout. Um, I don't have anything mapped except for my spinners. Uh, there they are. Pro device. You don't need to worry about any of that stuff. Only thing you need to do is know that you can export. So when I set this up in X in uh, in X lights, I'll need a couple of th informations, and they're all right here. Local ID is the uh, this is the loopback adapter of a computer. That's going to be correct if the sequence is running from this machine. If it's not, if you have Xbox on say uh, Pi, I'm uh, sorry, uh, if you're playing your sequence from a Pi using a uh, Falcon player or you're just running it on another machine for some reason, uncheck this and save. And then that tells you the actual IP to target. So let me go ahead and put that back though, because if it's on the same machine, it uses less networking. All right, so I'm gonna set up spinners. Start channel, and it's called spinners because there's actually two of them here. I've stacked them in the layout so they'd get the same effect in Twinkly using this, this editor program that I wrote. Never mind about that right now. So, spinners. I'm going to sign it to start channel one. Stream to this stream. Leave the limiter on. Hit save. Now it's going to tell me next available channel. It's going to show me. Um, sometimes that box doesn't refresh, but there it is. So, I'm going to sign this one here, 1201 and then save. Then I'm going to export the models for both of these because I'm going to need them in X-Lights. Let's go ahead and export the Windows model. And then let's close that. It will it opens a window up showing you uh, where it saved it. Normally your documents folder. But you can actually pick it. Uh, so now that I've exported those, I can go into X lights. Scoot this over so I can still see it. And I'm going to add an Ethernet adapt, uh, connection. I'm going to name it Twinkly because I, I need to know this information for later. And IP address 127.0.0.1. And then um, I'm going to change the protocol to Artnet. That's the only thing you need to change past defaults is changing that to Artnet. You can change channels per universe if you want to 512, but if you do that, you have to also do it here. And it's not necessary, and it actually adds an extra step to set up, so most people don't mess with it. All right, so let's go into layout. No models, right? Import. Import custom. Import spinners. Open. Here they are. There goes. Make it correctly aspect ratioed. Then I'm going to import the other one. Left windows. Now you'll notice this one looks a little skewed. Sometimes the importer does that, but there's an easy fix for it. Where's my grab handle? There it is. So what you need to do is you go into model model data and you'll see it's actually correct it's just displaying around there and hit okay and then it fixes it there but weirdly enough you'll see when i was saving it that it actually skewed this while it was saving 
but anyway. Uh, so here's your two models. This one here is actually skewed a little bit too, come to think of it. Let me fix that. There we go. So now I have left windows. I want to set them to start at start channel. This, this is the preferred way of always doing this. You start channel, and then you're going to specify, and whoops, I didn't mean to click the uh, help thing for that. Then I'm going to say this specifies that the start channel is on Twinkly and it maps to one no matter what the actual channel is it will map to one on twinkly no matter what now let me make sure i don't have these backwards left window starts at 1201 whoops fix that did have it backwards so that goes 1201 to 1950 and that is correct spinners I want to make this one come from the start channel and say artnet one. Well, that's weird. Why not? It's literally what it's set to. Oh, I see. I forgot what my controller is called. It's called Twinkly. See what I mean about making up something called something useful. Now, it's important you do this because if you have other controllers, this ends up at the end. The channels are already going to be in the thousands. Uh, my program expects the channel to come in in this number range. And uh, if, if it doesn't, it's just not going to display anything. Okay, now there's something else I want to point out. So let's go back to controllers now. You'll notice only one of the models is showing up. That's because it doesn't auto-size. So just ignore that. And then look here and see that I need four universes. And go ahead and set that to four. And save it. Now the other models are. Now we can go into sequencer. And say. Let's go ahead and create a new sequence. Discard. Animation. 20. Quick start. And I'll go ahead and use my favorite butterfly effect. I'm going to put it just on the left windows. And then spinners will have nothing on it. And I'm going to, this is on purpose. I want to demonstrate something here in a minute. So to get it to come over to my program, a few things have to happen. One is you have to have this bulb on. Two is you have to render. Although normally it will render the thing you click on. So if I only got one, I, I not necessarily I had to do it. So I should be outputting right now. Now I can come over here, left windows, receive live preview. Stream to the string. Save. So I didn't have that checked, so it doesn't even preview it. Interesting. And see, there's nothing there. Now, the reason I wanted to talk about this is if I go back in layout and I mess up somehow and I say, this actually starts at 1,000. Someone is at the doorbell. Then it's going to... Um, overlap. So if I go in the sequencer now and I look at it, you'll see that spinners, even though it has nothing on it, is also showing it. This preview right here shows everything. It shows the um, 
basically exactly what is output. It's not the internals of the program and displaying that. It's actually generating and displaying the output. This is the exact same thing that gets shot out of the, out of the output. So if you can see it here, it is transmitting it. Unless you turn this bulb off. So anyway, there you have it. And in fact, you can see over here. Now, I have another important note. If you don't completely send all the data, it won't send it to the string either. This gets sent after it fills it up. So if you mess up and you're missing just the end, it won't send it. These are things you need to watch out for. But it's pretty simple to set up, pretty simple to use. And I hope you all have a lot of fun with it. That's all I got.